Today at MixGarage.com we're taking a very quick look at the T3 Follow Me bike carrier from Nordrive. The Follow Me is a three bike carrier that mounts to the boot or the rear tailgate of your car. So this is how the carrier is supplied, so you get the frame kind of pre-assembled there and you have a selection of the uh, accessories and bits and pieces that all go together and we'll have a quick run through of how they fit and then we'll go and stick it onto the car and see how it works. Now these uh, nuts and bolts here need to be tightened to six newton meters to be honest with you, you're not going to have a torque wrench that goes to six newton meters, or most likely you won't. So basically, they still need to be able to move and pivot on the frame. So there's a locking nylock nut on that side, so they're not going to come undone. So don't be worried about that. Okay, so we've got that all assembled. Um, probably took 15 or 20 minutes to do. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, you just have to slide these uh, bike holder pieces on, tighten them all up, and then you attach these strap mounting points here, as, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, right, let's go fit it to the car and see how it goes. Okay, first things first, before you mount the rack to the car, you need to make sure that the mounting points or the contact points between the rack and the car are nice and clean so you don't scratch your paintwork. So, offer the rack up, get it roughly in the position that you want it to be. You need these um, the arms to be between uh, 0 degrees and 15 degrees. Uh, so, you want it to be roughly that position on this particular car. Okay, so once you have it roughly in position, you lock the handles into place. This is much easier with two people, by the way. And then you attach the straps. Next, we're gonna put the bottom straps on, uh, which are the green ones. We'll get them somewhere near the right length before we actually attach them. And putting these ones on next holds the uh, carrier in place while we attach the side ones. So once you've got the top and bottom uh, straps on, you can just make some uh, final kind of adjustments to the angle that you want the rack to sit at. So this one's a little bit low, so we'll loosen that off and tilt it up a little bit. Slacken these off. Okay, with the top and bottom straps on, you can lift the tailgate and the carrier won't move. We need to attach the side straps next, but these hooks all need to attach to metal mounting points. And on our car here, which is Mark V Golf, there's glass here, so you can't hook that onto there. What you need to do is use the special adapters that come with the kit. To do that, you remove the strap, put it in the other way around. Actually, sorry, put this in first. Put the strap through there. And then you slide this bad boy inside there. So you might need someone on the inside to help hold it out of the way of the boot struts. Once you have all the straps tightened up, you can see that the rack's pretty secure and it shouldn't move around much at all. Now you're ready to put your bikes on and you always put the heaviest bike right at the back of the rack. Secure the frame in place with the heavy duty rubber straps and you get these pulled as tight as you can get them. Next you want to secure the bottom of the bike and through the wheels with the auxiliary strap that's included to stop it moving around. Now lastly you need to just make sure that all your straps that are uh, hanging loose are just nicely tied up and out of the way so um, they're not going to get caught on anything and when you're driving along it's always a good idea to just check the straps are tight every uh, I don't know every half an hour every hour every hundred miles or whatever it may be 
Okay, last couple of things worth mentioning about this particular rack. Um, a question that gets asked all the time is the distance between these two arms, and that's 37 centimetres. Um, if you're carrying uh, ladies' bikes or mountain bikes with full suspension that don't have a crossbar here, um, you can buy a bike frame adapter. We'll put a link to that in the uh, bottom of the in, in the description below. Uh, also, just make sure that your number plate is completely visible as well, because it's illegal to have that obscured when you're uh, using a bike rack. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, give a subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.